Hello, welcome, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Lisa. So you guys, this weekend I am getting my Keratin Bond extensions taken out. If you've been with me, you would have came with me to get them in this past December. I specifically got them for my wedding and I've had them in for about four months now. If you are tuning into this video, you're probably interested in Keratin Bond extensions and thinking about getting them or currently have them. If you are not familiar with what Keratin Bond extensions are, they are unprocessed human hair that can be individually bonded to your natural hair using already attached beads of keratin adhesive from the top end of your hair. So a little bit closer to your scalp area. And they are fairly small. They usually do them in little groupings and they do them by rows and as many as you need to get the desired fullness and length that you're looking for. I actually got a ton of hair in my head. I'll put up a clip now of what my hair was prior to getting the extensions. It wasn't very long and I wouldn't say it was super fine, but my hair has never been extremely full. So that was one of the main reasons why I got them mainly for fullness, but also a little bit for length for my wedding day if I wanted to curl it and I still wanted that little bit of length, I decided to go a bit longer. I wanted to talk about my experience with them, if I would get them again, if I like them, and all of that stuff with you just so maybe you have some knowledge before you go ahead and get them or currently have them and are working through them like I did. If you actually go back to my get fit for my wedding with me vlog, I show you up close and personal what the bond looked like when I first got it in. And since it's been four months, my hair has grown a bit. The bonds are actually getting a little bit looser. So I will show you it now. Mind you, a little bit of the keratin adhesive is kind of starting to deteriorate. So it is a little bit flaky, but that is just from the keratin bond adhesive starting to kind of disintegrate, I guess you would say. So here is a piece of my hair. As you can see, it is very small and very subtle. You can barely tell it's there. And when I first got it in, this white little adhesive situation really wasn't so visible. So I definitely would say it was darker, more like the color of my hair. As I mentioned, it's been four months. I've washed my hair twice a week since the first time I've got it, every week, twice a week. So obviously they're starting to loosen, my hair is growing and things of that nature. I wanted to talk about the pros and the cons. And also in this video, I'll take you through when I get them out today and basically what I'm doing after I don't have extensions. So, as I mentioned, I got them in strictly for my wedding and I've had extensions in the past. I've had clip-ins, I've had sewn-in, and I've really enjoyed them. I just am a person that really likes my hair full and long. It's just something that I was really never able to achieve just on my own. I've taken supplements, I've put in hair growth serum and you know either it's just I am just not so patient or it's just not really in my genes to have such full and voluminous and long hair so I've often gotten extensions and this was actually my first time getting the keratin bond I've went to a place here in Switzerland and they were about $900 that was including the hair and installation and styling I believe it also includes the extraction of the keratin bonds as well. So, I mean, it is expensive, but you are getting what you pay for. You're getting a full head of hair. And honestly, I have loved them. They really did give me the look I wanted for my wedding. And even day to day, I feel like they really do amp up my look and make me look a little bit more put together at times. And I would say I have enjoyed them, but I would also say that for someone that doesn't usually have full, long hair, 
to have to wash them, style them, kind of keep up with them. That was kind of where I really struggled. And at points I was like, oh, I just really want to take these things out. I want to give my hair a good scalp massage. Because while you do clean your scalp when you have them in your hair, sometimes it is a little bit difficult and obviously a little bit harder to do for yourself in the shower rather than going to salon. But I mean, making sure getting all the shampoo and conditioner out was definitely a struggle, but it does take time and you have to take care of them in order for them to last and obviously not damage your hair. So that was something that kind of was a little bit hard for me. And also, you have to really keep up with brushing them, making sure they're not knotting, because if you do not continuously brush them throughout the day and make sure they're smooth and not knotting, you will start to get a little bit of a matte situation where the hair starts to stick together, which is never fun. And uh, my hairstylist that I've actually gone to here said that she's had clients that really just didn't take care of her hair and once they got them taken out it was really hard and really a struggle because the hair was just all matted together. So you have to really make sure that you're being consistent with them and taking care of them and if this is something that you want to pay for and sign up for then you have to really be on it and make sure that you keep them tidy and neat. So that is definitely something to keep in mind before getting the extensions. Another thing, I obviously went with these type of extensions just because they were a little bit more discreet, smaller. Uh, you can do as many as you like. You can do a few, you can do a ton. Um, I was in between the tape-ins and these, and I actually went with these just because of how tiny they were. Also because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do with my hair on my wedding day. I didn't know if I wanted to pull it back or put it up. I ended up actually just leaving it down. But you can pull it back without having problems. I will say though, you will see some of the bonds if you do have a ton like I do. If you don't have so many, I think it would be easier to definitely cover them up, but you would definitely still see the bonds. So I think that is something to keep in mind because I did have people saying when I was reaching out for suggestions like, yes, they will be great. You won't be able to see them if you put your hair up or if you put your hair half up, half down, but you still do see them if you have a bunch in. Like my entire head is covered. So if I didn't have as many, I think I would be okay. But when you have a lot, you have to really be cautious of that because I was tying my hair back a ton in Florida because it was so hot and I wanted off my face. And my husband actually said, you know, your little beads are showing. So <laughs> it was definitely a little bit embarrassing, but obviously it's whatever. But I definitely think that's something to keep in mind when you're getting these because people will say, you know, they're so small, you can't even see them, but you will be able to see them if you do have a ton in your hair. So another pro was that I believe I had to wash my hair a little bit less just because my own hair often gets really oily and greasy. I often work out, so it was kind of getting to the point where I had to wash my hair a lot more than when I did when I had these in my hair. For these, I feel like the extensions kind of helped me keep the oil and grease at bay a little bit. So that was definitely a plus, and I'm hoping that once I take them out, my hair is a little bit longer and hopefully a little bit healthier. You can see here, so I will show you a piece of my hair because I did have a few of the bonds slide out, especially at the bottom. And over time, I think that is something that's normal. After washing it, I definitely feel like after a few months, they just grow out, especially at the bottom because they're already so low that they will tend to slide out on their own. And my hairstylist said when that happens, you know, you just can't tolerate it because it was literally here. You just put a little bit of oil at the bond and just kind of rub it 
and slide it out so that's what I did but I'll show you a piece of my natural hair mind you the bottom of my hair has always been pretty sparse and kind of thin so this is my natural hair and it's definitely a little bit longer than I had it in the beginning and I really don't see any issue I definitely need a haircut but I don't see any issue from the bond and the extension um, so I'm hoping when I get the rest out that it is this similar situation and so I think that's also maybe something that could be a little bit of a con once your hair does start to grow out you really can't control how quickly the bonds start to descend on your hairline and it could be kind of annoying especially at some point I had different strands of hair that just went way past the end of my hair and it started looking crazy so I had to kind of take them out myself which is not a problem but it's also just something that you know I didn't expect to happen another thing is that you need to use non oily shampoo and conditioner because that will make the beads start to get looser and lower faster. You really need to find a non-oil based shampoo and conditioner. I've been using the Kerastas. I will put a picture of the brand that I've been using and it's been pretty okay. I feel like I haven't really had so many loose pieces and I think the only thing I'm seeing with a lot of the keratin bonds that's up top and in the middle are just natural hair growth and that's why they are getting a little bit lower. So that is something else to keep in mind that you will need to have specific shampoo and conditioner for this hair as well. I think a final pro would be that you can do so much with this hair. You can style it so differently. You have a different look and it's something that really does look like your own hair like this does not look like fake hair it looks like my own and I've actually had people come up to me and say wow people that are in my family my father has said oh my god your hair got so long and I would tell him dad it's not my hair <laughs> but I think that is really something that blends nicely with your own hair and helps you really achieve that natural natural look which is really nice because the pieces are so thin and definitely not bulky so it looks like your own hair and that's another pro and you can just do so many different things you can curl them you can straighten them you can wave them whatever you would like and it blends really really nicely with your natural hair so that is the list of pros and cons I have to share with you guys I am heading to the salon today to take them out so I will obviously take you guys along with me and show you the process of getting them out uh, it is about to be summer it is currently the end of April and I really just wanted to have my own natural hair and not have to worry when I go in the ocean or the lake and have to worry about it getting knotty or matted so that is one of the main reasons why I'm taking them out now and also just I feel like my hair just needs a break I've had them in for four months and I think you can keep them in for as long as you want as long as you feel comfortable as long as you take care of them and are okay with them growing out it's just my preference I think four months is more than enough and I think it's time to let my hair breathe take them out and just really start to take care and focus on my natural hair and try to grow it and make it healthy and strong and hopefully get to this at some point but I'm gonna take you guys along now to the hair salon and I'll show you guys what I get I'm thinking about cutting my hair but maybe just getting some side bangs I don't know here's a picture of what I think I want I haven't had bangs in a while I do have just these like longer pieces which haven't really grown out in some time but maybe a little bit shorter we'll see and then I'm just gonna do a little cleanup on the ends and probably just do a toner just to get it a little bit shinier and healthy so I'll do that and I'll take you guys along with me and then we'll touch base after the appointment hoping my hair is still intact and nice and full and I have good news to report to you guys after my appointment. So I'll see you guys in a little bit.
So you guys, I just got back from my hair appointment and I am now extension -less. And as you can see, my hair was not damaged at all. This is pretty much my natural hair, like fullness-wise. Um, I did get a little color toner put on just so that my hair is even from the root to the tip. But I really am so happy that my hair wasn't affected at all by the Carrot and Bond extensions. And honestly, that makes me love them even more. If I ever was to get them again, I feel comfortable knowing my hair won't be affected. And, you know, maybe in the future I will just get a little bit more for fullness. But right now, I'm focusing on my hair getting healthy and full and long and just kind of getting back on my hair journey that I've always kind of been on. But I did also get some bangs. I was in between deciding on getting them and I really love how they turned out. I often put my hair back. There's my little hair clip. But this is like something I always, always do just because I love like not having my hair in my face. And I love like the look of the bangs with the hair pulled back. I just feel like it gives it such like a nice elevated look. So I'm really happy with them and the results. Took some clips of the situation on how they take the keratin bonds out and it's very seamless and easy as long as you take care of the hair. My hair was not matted, it was not stuck together. I really took care of it, brushed it frequently and I think that really helped me with the removal process. But all they did was put some oily gel, I believe it's like a keratin gel that they put on, and then they take the clamps and they loosen the beads a bit until they're pretty much loose enough to just slide the hair off, and that was it. The process really didn't take that long and I had a ton of hair in my head. But other than that, it was very seamless and easy when they took the hair out and were brushing my hair, it felt so good. You guys, I haven't had like a nice smooth brush down my head in so long, so that was really nice. But overall, my experience with Keratin Bond extensions has been really great. I really don't have that much bad things to say about them other than a few of the cons that I told you guys about earlier. But other than that, I really think they're a good option if you're looking to get extensions and want a fuller or longer look. I think they are probably one of the better options. I mean, I have never gotten tape-ins, so I can't tell you firsthand on how they would affect your hair or be, but for me, I really did enjoy the Keratin Bond extensions and I probably would get them again. So that is my review on the Keratin Bond extensions. Now I wanna to talk to you guys about how I plan on taking care of my actual hair. So my goal is to just keep it healthy and long and strong and try to get it a bit fuller. I do have naturally curly wavy mix hair. So in the summertime, I kind of like it to leave it alone and I don't like to dry it as often and just kind of let it do its thing. And maybe I'll put some product in it that will help the wave or curl be a little bit neater and less frizzy. So I definitely plan on doing that more in the summertime. And then also I have a few products to share with you guys that I really loved using prior to having keratin bond extensions. So one of the things is the Briogeo Rice Water Protein and Moisture Strengthening Treatment. I've used this in the past and it's really nice and it has really good reviews. As you know, rice water protein is very good for your hair, so this is really nice. It has no harsh sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, so I think it's a really good option if you're looking for something that is a treatment mask type thing. All you do is after shampooing, rinse hair of excess water and apply the treatment evenly throughout the hair and leave it on for 10 minutes or you can leave it on overnight for even more of a treatment. So I think this stuff is really great. So I'll probably start using this at least once a week. And then 
some of the other treatments is the Ordinary Hair Care Multi-Peptide Serum. This is for hair density and I really do love this brand. I have a lot of their products and they're super affordable and clean and all the ingredients is right there for you. And I've been using this for quite some time and when I stopped using this before I had extensions, I definitely saw a difference in the density of my hair. So this is something that I'm going to be adding into my routines. And then pre-showering, I'm going to start using the JVN pre-wash scalp oil. I do have a little bit of drier scalp and I think that is just something that is you do or you don't have and I think this is something that will really be able to help me. Um, again, this is sulfate free, it's silicone free, it's vegan, it's made with clean hemisqualine. I'm not sure what that is but I think it's good. And just anything oil based is really nice for your hair so all you do is massage it into the scalp and disperse it through the ends for 15 minutes before washing for healthier, shinier looking hair. So I'm definitely gonna also incorporate this into my routine as well. And I plan on getting a nice like scalp massager just so I can really get the ingredients into my hair. So that is another step. And then lastly, I've used this also when I had extensions but only at the ends so I wasn't getting any on the bonds so they wouldn't loosen. But the Gisu or Jisu, I don't know how she intended to pronounce this, but it's their honey infused hair oil. I absolutely love this stuff. It smells amazing. It feels amazing. It makes your hair really soft and shiny and silky. And I love this stuff. So of course I'll be using this while styling my hair. And that's about it for hair care, but I also wanted to talk about how I also purchased clip-in extensions just for the moments when I wanted a little bit more or if I had a wedding to go to or an event then I wanted to have something on hand to just be able to achieve that full long look that I've had in the past and I went with the Bellamy hair extensions. I've had them before in the past and I actually picked up a new pair so these are them. They're really shiny and beautiful and soft they feel amazing and they are the perfect match to my hair and of course they are clip-in so they're super easy to do i will probably do a little tutorial maybe on another vlog for you guys maybe when i'm using them just to get ready and maybe in the future when i have a wedding or an event to go to so i can show you guys how i put these in and how i style them with my natural hair so you guys, that is it for this vlog. I hope it was insightful and helpful if you were thinking about or are soon to be getting keratin bond extensions. Honestly, the only thing, the last thing that I would say is just make sure the person that you're going with to do them for you is knowledgeable and really knows what they're doing because I feel like that could also affect the way you have your experience with these things. The hairstylist that I went to is extremely knowledgeable. She does them for so, so many of her clients. So I was very comfortable with her doing them for me. And I think that's just one thing that you have to make sure before you get this done because they are getting basically glued into your own hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do consider subscribing because that really does help me create more content for you guys. And I hope you join me for my next one. Bye guys.